Narada's Murti is a part of the Dharmasastras, an Indian literary tradition that serves as a collection of legal maxims relating to the topic of Dharma. This text is purely juridical in character in that it focuses solely on procedural and substantive law. Known as the juridical text par excellence, the Narada's Murti is the only Dharmasastra text to not cover areas such as righteous conduct and penance. Its focused nature has made the text highly valued by rulers and their governments, in Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia, likely as an aid of carrying out their dharma of justly ruling the country. Recensions Today there exist three recognized versions of Naradamriti, also called Naradiya Dharmasastra. First, there is the minor recension, consisting of 879 verses and referred to by the siglum D. Next comes the recension known by the siglum P and consisting originally of 550 verses. Jolly later edited the text to contain verses from the minor recension as well, bringing the total to 1028 verses. The third version comes from the Nawari manuscripts and the Naradiyamanisamita and goes by the siglum NMS, containing 870 verses. Each recension is unique not only in length, but content as well. For example, in P, an entire chapter is found of which no other manuscript makes mention. One of the most thoroughly studied differences is that of the variation in naming of ordeals. The NMS, seen as the oldest of the three texts, lists only two ordeals in the standard chapter on non-payment of debt, but contains an addendum which lists five more ordeals. The Vulgate also lists five ordeals but manuscript P adds two more, bringing the total to seven. <inaudible> Source and authority One recension claims that Manu Prajapati originally composed a text in 100,000 verses and 1080 chapters, which was successively abridged by the sages Narada, Markandeya, and Samadhi Bhargava, down to a text of 4,000 verses. Narada's Murti, according to this recension's claim, represent the ninth chapter, regarding legal procedure, of Manu's original text. This connection may enhance the prestige of Narada's Murti because some traditional texts state Manu pronouncements on Dharma as above challenge. However, Larivier notes that it is clear from the critical edition and examination of other ancient documents that this explanation of Naradasmurti's origin is a myth, and was added later. Naradamriti was an authoritative document not only in Indian subcontinent, as well as when Hinduism flourished in Southeast Asia. A 12th century inscription in Champa Empire of Jaya Haravarman, in what is now modern Vietnam, declares that its court officials were expert in all dharmasastras, especially Naradiya and Bhargavya. The divine sage Narada is known as the messenger of the gods, transmitting divine will to the people of the earth. Although not known for being an expert in dharma, he has been portrayed as an instructor of law and politics. Author Larivier argues that there was no single author of this text, but rather, either an individual or a group who compiled all of the verses attributed by a particular community to the sage Narada. Examination of the scripts of the original manuscript determines that the Naradiyamanisamita manuscripts were written in the south of India while the Nawari manuscript came from Nepal. The recensions D and P appear to have been found throughout the subcontinent but rarely in Nepal or Kerala. Topic. Date Similar to all ancient Indian texts, specific dates for the authoring of the Narada's Murti continue to elude scholars. Varying arguments have been made and evidences cited but no decisive conclusions have been made. The best time frame which can be provided is somewhere between 100 BCE and 400 CE. In 1876, manuscript D of the Narada's Murti was translated by the German scholar Julius Jolly, making it available to legal scholars in Europe for the first time. The work was readily accepted in Europe due to its style, content, and structure, which was similar enough to Roman legal texts of the time that the scholars felt comfortable dealing with it. Karl Marx even used this translation as a reference for his Asiatic modes of production. In 1879, Jolly translated manuscript P. In 1989, Larivier revisited the text and produced a critical translation which includes evidence from the NWS manuscripts, as well as D and P, which Jolly used. Topic. Structure 
The structure of the Naradasmirti is based on the 18 titles of law, which are also mentioned in the Manasmirti but with some variation in names. The text begins with a brief introduction into law and the courts before delving into these 18 titles, devoting a chapter to each. The way in which this text is written makes it clear that the authors was appealing to a community of practitioners, interested in directly applying the law to everyday cases. Madarka Prilegamena. Vyavahara Basa Sabha Topic Vyavaharapada 18 titles of law Ernadana Niksepa Sambuyasamuthana Datapradanika Abhupetyasusrusa Vetanajanapakarma Asvamavikraya Vikriya Sampradana Kritanasaya Samayazyanapakarma Kasetrahavivada Stripamsa Yoga Dayabhaga Sahasa Vakparasya Dandaparusya Dayutasamavaya Prakarnaka Notes References Translation by Richard W. Larivier. The Naradasmar, T. University of Philadelphia. Olivelle, Patrick. Dharmasastra, a Literary History. Translation by Julius Jolly. The Minor Law Books. Oxford, The Clarendon Press. External links Naradamriti, English translation Naradamriti, one of the three known distinct versions of the law book in Sanskrit Naradasmirti, IAST translate, A Sarat Initiative, the British Association for South Asian Studies and the British Academy.